Hey, what's up? Uh, I like this, was this Witness to War series here. A lot of the, they have a lot of photos of Italians uh, during the war, both uh, before the armistice and, uh, you know, the ones who are still loyal here. Um, a lot, that's how I judge. Uh, there's photos that in here I've never seen anywhere else, and that's really how I judge a lot of things. Are, they, are there photos that I have not seen? I've seen a lot of photos, okay, I have photography interest and history interest, okay, military history, even though yours truly is essentially anti-war for the most part, um, I just thought I'd like to just go through this one, and you look, as you look at this, and I'm like, oh god, why are you doing this to yourself, okay, uh, the, the, the Italians on the Eastern Front, uh, were so wholly uh, ill-equipped, uh, equipment-wise, Logistics wise, even though there's a truck there, um, uh, why are you doing this? Thing? So, well, it's just it's history. It's interesting how the Italian forces that went into the Soviet Union uh, didn't even have medium tanks like they had in North Africa. Uh, they pretty much still had these things, and they had uh, some of the other ones. Okay, and they went through it, of course. Eight photos here. Uh, the trucks, the infantry, of course, the Passaglieri's, the guys, the cockerel feathers. It was essentially light infantry, particularly then became motor infantry. My grandfather mentions the, the Italians on their motorcycles. He mentioned the feathers. Okay? He didn't say Passaglieri's, but that's who he was referring to. Uh, and as everyone refers to, uh, these men were no cowards. But when you see this and you know what they're going to be facing, uh, in the Soviet machine, you just, uh, let's just go, oh God, oh, yeah. here's the, uh, a self-propelled 47 millimeter cannon, okay, already hopelessly outdated, but this says is what you had in the beginning, when they're going in, uh, you know, these, uh, CV-33s, or L3s, they would call them, right, L338 light tank, yeah, that's a tank, right, Great photos, of course. Uh, great hero, this man here. Uh, lots of heroism, probably forgotten. But uh, obviously, we start to get uh, uh, tanks that have a turret at least, the L6. Okay? Now, the L6, I like the L6. Right? The L6 is kind of a cool, nifty. Uh, very, 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 very small tank. Very, uh, uh, makes the M3 look like a panther. <laughs> yeah. and see, and do this whenever you can, right? You have trucks trying to transport these things, take the wear and tear off. Well, that's a cool picture, but my man's like, yo, you know, the George, yo, go up there and, and I'm going to come at the bottom with the camera and take a picture. You're going to look, you're going to look great. You know, the women back home are gonna, you know. And you see, I like the L6. The L6 is a cool little tank, man. And a, like I said, little tank. Oh, jeez. Obviously, these things have no chance uh, uh, in combat. Okay. You, maybe as infantry support. Uh, essentially, they were smart enough to use it as, as reconnaissance. Okay, and these are the crew. Yeah, I know. I know, dude. It's an interesting contraption they made for the very low temperatures in order to turn these over. Uh, they had this uh, interesting uh, preheating system, but there's lots of cool photos, man. Look at that. Yeah. Now, would I want one of these? Yeah, if I could get one of these, I'd want one of these. There's a lot you could do with this, you know, but but not, not in the Soviet Union. And now we're going to go to... Yeah, a lot of... I've seen... I, I've never seen half these photos, but... Now we get to the Don River. Oh, boy. Yeah, this one. The famous one. This one got knocked over. Probably got rammed by a freaking Soviet tank. And you start to see now uh, when these things got pretty much annihilated. Uh, right. A lot of these, of course, were abandoned. But, you know. A lot of it. Look at this. Cool. A cool tank. But look. Five of these guys could probably turn this over with their hands. 
And, and then and if you want to see the power, all the joking aside, because there's no joke to me, but the, uh, you see photos like this, right? Piles of frozen corpses. These are the guys in the Eighth Army. Yeah. Uh, like I said they, these guys had no chance. It's very haunting looking at these photos. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, they invaded. They got what they deserved. Well, I'm the one that you know. Well, I'm not. I'm not condemning it. I'm not justifying because I don't have to. These are Italians. Uh, the other soldiers there were with the Germans. That's my ancestry, okay, uh, and a closer ancestry than most Americans have to their things through my family situation. So you know what? I'm for them. I think I've mentioned that before. I'm doing this crazy new thing. It's called being for the people that you're descended from. So it's a, maybe I'll catch on, <laughs> uh, you know, with with other people that aren't currently doing it. Yeah. So and they have some of these obviously in the Russian museums, these ones they captured. So and now uh, some rounding out some really cool photos. I always loved this T what is this? The T thirty seven, the amphibious light tank. These things were cool. Right? These are also very small. Uh, light enough to float, obviously that means you have no armor. Which look at this photo. Hey, I'll take a picture. Yeah, nice. Yeah, they captured it. Uh, T sixty, like I said, you know the book I did on the Soviets, when they're like, "Oh, the, the, the American, the tanks are no good. We don't like." But you took them, because because a huge amount of the Soviet tanks were these things. So yeah, those tanks were better. They're gonna, you're gonna take what you can get, right? And which I I told you I wouldn't give them nothing. But I like this picture here too. That's the amphibious tank. Look how small that one is, right? Yeah, and it was reused. These are these are infantry guys reused it. I wonder how. Also, they captured some katushas, right? And they were they use actually used these on the Soviets. Yeah, Paisan. Ah, <laughs> uh, now to that round, this is totally depressing. You got the Aditi, right? They they describe right the young fascists, right? The guys uh, who survived uh, Tunisia and managed to get away. Okay, um. Once the, uh, the armistice happens, right? Uh, a lot of these guys are split, right? So I see the guys from the Young Fascists and the newly formed XRDT, right? Named after, of course, the ones from the First War, right? The Young uh, Fascists, the disbanded, they left the headquarters trying to find some other unit that was determined not to give in to the armistice clauses. And they ran into the Falschenjägers, of course, the... Uh, German uh, paratroopers and they essentially joined them. Uh, interesting. And they fought on. And this particular group they fought on in the Ukraine as the course the thing was going by like this here. It's like, yeah, uh, you know, uh, Germans, uh, we're, we're, we're loyal. <laughs> you know, we're loyal to Mussolini. So it's kind of interesting how these guys went through further combat, of course, in Ukraine, fighting against the, the, the tide. But these things, remember the Sarianas, right? Based on the uh, the AB41 chassis. These guys actually had some ma massive battles out there in the Ukraine. Uh, so the guys that fought on, the guys that maintained their honor, uh, as Evola had said after the the armistice. But anyway, just a cool book. Like I said, I, I like this thing in the back here. It's just, yeah, you know, it's almost like, hey, maybe we should use this tank. What do you think? Uh, uh, that it is that it is. I would trade. I mean, this would be great, but I would trade this uh, in a second. But and was not to be. Not to be. Uh, of course. Still, man, how much? Man, I would, what my? You, I mean, you could make this, right? You could make this. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I recommend these in the series. They're not that expensive, uh, and there's always something interesting in here. Now, I want to get the ones. A lot of it, especially a lot of RSI stuff. Okay. Um, the one on the Alpinis I want to get uh, for the RSI, but I, I thought I would look at this. Yeah, no easy, right? What does the meme say? The only easy day was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever, man. They're still smiling, though. All right. Arrivederci.